Good morning, welcome back to the homestead. Today we're gonna to be building for you a grapevine trellis, actually the most common type of trellis that there is out there. Let's show you how to do that. So we've got this new line of grapes here and we need to get our trellis in the ground because we planted these not too long ago and they are already growing very vigorously. We've got them training on our stakes here and that's one of our videos you can go check out right here is how to train a first year grape up to a trellis. But now it's time to get those posts in the ground and all the wires strung. For this project you'll need some number 10 gauge wire, some turnbuckles, some heavy duty eye screws, and some wire clamps. And you're gonna need some four inch, eight foot long posts. Now the number of posts is gonna totally depend on the number of grapes you have. In our case, we have three grape plants planted 12 feet apart. So we're gonna need four posts. If you haven't already done so, head below, hit that subscribe button and stay with us here on a permanent basis. We'd love to have you. So we wanna bury those posts two feet in the ground so there's enough stability and we still have six feet above the ground. No need to use concrete on these posts, just push our dirt back in to the hole and we're gonna tamp it down. So once you set the posts in the ground, it's time to run your wires. But before we do that, I wanna talk about the type of trellis system that we are going to do. And that trellis system is a mid cordon trained vertical shoot positioned trellis system. I know crazy, but here's what that means. It means that our first wire is gonna start 42 inches off the ground and then we're gonna have a few more wires in between to catch the shoots that come off of our cordon and then a wire on the top to also catch that long end of the shoot that at the end of the season is hanging there. Our fruit zone is gonna be right in that area, right above those uh, spurs from the cordon, right where those shoots came off. If all that sounds confusing, I know it is, but there's a great YouTube channel his name is just Tom. His name is Tom Zabadal, but he took the Zabadal off. So he's a former Michigan State University professor in viticulture, and he is insanely knowledgeable. So I want you to go check out his channel. It's linked in the description below. So when starting to grow grapes, the grower, you, needs to decide what the structure of this grapevine is going to be. What is the easiest for you to pick and harvest, to prune, so on and so forth. I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are literally hundreds of training systems. We have a different type of training system for our muscadine grapes, that's called the modified Munson. This one, we're trying something different because these are just regular table grapes. But basically on this type of trellis, you're gonna train this main trunk up to that 42 inch wire and then train two arms down bilaterally on that wire and those will become your cordons. On top of those cordons, you're gonna prune your spurs and on those spurs are about two buds. Every year, they are gonna produce the new shoots that your fruit is gonna grow on. Now, vertically shoot positioned is just what it means. Your trunk's gonna come up to that mid wire and then your shoots are gonna grow up and they are gonna produce fruit in a fruiting zone about in the middle. Now let's start to string those wires for you. So for our first wire, we're gonna come up our 42 inches, which is our bottom wire, and we're gonna drill a hole straight through the post. Now, the only wires you wanna drill through are for the top and the bottom. All the mid wires, we're gonna anchor on both sides with some fencing staples. Now that we have our holes drilled for our bottom wire and our top wire, we need to pre-drill for our anchor eye screw. That needs to be done about eight inches above the ground. Let's run our bottom wire now. Obviously, we're just gonna thread it through the hole we made. Run it down the line through all the holes and we're gonna secure it to the eye screws at the bottom. So we've got our wire secured at the other side. We're gonna pull it taut, run it down to our eye screw here, make a cut probably six or eight inches past that. Run it through the eye screw and attach our wire rope clamp.
Now that we have our top wire strung through, we're going to do something to strengthen the structure itself. Now normally, people will pull down at an angle and anchor it into the ground. Well, that's kind of a tripping hazard and it's a pain to mow around, so on and so forth. So what we've done is we've taken this pipe, we've notched it out at this end, and we've created a radius on this side. We're going to put the pipe against our pole here and run our wire over the top of it and then anchor it down at the bottom. What that's going to do is create these two triangles here, which structurally will strengthen the pole. It's going to, the forces will act upon the top of the pole and pull the bottom of the pole out instead of pulling the pole over. So that is one way to do it. So that's how we're going to do it. We're also going to insert a turnbuckle right here in this portion. What that's going to give us the ability to do is if it does loosen up, we can tighten the entire um, line and the entire structure with this turnbuckle. We'll connect that short piece of wire to the bottom and then bring it up to our turnbuckle over the top of our triangular brace support. Going to cut our wire to what we think it should be. Thread it through our turnbuckle. Well, just get everything situated and it'll all come together and we'll tighten our turnbuckle. Now we can get our wire super tight and our brace really solid and in place. And if you need to make any adjustments in the length, go ahead because that wire will stretch over time. Now for our first set of catch wires, we're going to come up eight inches from our bottom wire and we're going to place another eye screw. We're going to secure our wires we're going to run our wires actually on either side of the pole, one way down and one way back, and secure them to the eye screw on one end. So on either side of every pole, eight inches above our bottom wire, we are going to put a fencing staple in the vertical direction to catch our catch wire. So we're going to start here, run our catch wire down, around, and back, and secure it to this eye screw. Well, here we go. Here's our partially completed trellis. Now, the reason I say partially completed is because we only did one set of catch wires. Those are eight inches above our bottom wire, which is where we train our cordons. That is because we ran out of wire. It takes a lot of wire to do these systems, so shop accordingly. Usually, your second set of catch wires will go about 10 inches above your first set of catch wires. Now, some systems have another set and these they're a little bit taller but ours are 72 inches so that works out perfect to just have one more if you have any questions leave us a comment in the comment section below we'd be happy to answer them for you if you're interested head below to the description of the video we have our amazon store link there so head on over there if you're going to do any shopping on amazon it helps out our family and the channel a lot now go check out these videos right here which shows you how we train all of our grapevine have a great day we'll see you on the next video bye